Hi everyone! It's another video. It's an art supplies haul from Mossery, Kinokonia, Mungyo, and Miniso. But first, let's visit Mohammed bin Rashid Library. There were a lot of books. Some of the shelves in the more specific rooms are not yet full. There are a lot of shelves empty that I think they will still fill up because this library just recently opened. I'm very excited for this haul. It's an early birthday present or an, an, an unbirthday present for myself. The second half of 2022 will be filled with more art, of course, and learning to combine different mediums. The struggle to remove this box belt. Finally! This is a collaboration between Mossery and Kate Pellerin, aka Poopy Cat on Instagram. I am interested to explore more on adding colored pencils to my traditional art. The added texture of the colored pencils fascinates me. The Mossery Art Kits with the tools is an investment as they are expensive. Expect more paint color with me videos with a practice workbook from this art kit. Ruby Cat's illustrations are just full of life, movement, and personality. All the prints, sketchbook, and workbook on this art kit are beautiful and of high quality. I'm keeping the box for... I still don't know what for. These are the prints, the sketchbook, and the workbook. I just love the packaging. It's my first time ordering from Mossery. It only took them for it only took four days for the package to arrive. And this is the first thing I really wanted to have from this art kit, the practice workbook. Poopy Cat mostly uses watercolor as a base and then add colored pencils. For the texture, I will experiment more with gouache in watercolor consistency, plus of course colored pencils. The workbook includes a practice guidebook, mixed media paper with guides and line illustrations. The guidebook has steps, tips, and examples on how to render color or to color an artwork. This is a thick 224 GSM mixed media paper to practice on. Next is the blank sketchbook, the same 224 GSM paper with name personalization on the cover. The cover illustration is beautiful and the material is smooth and soft to the touch. I chose a garden tail cover design. The cover is reusable and I can just refill it with a new sketchbook when I finish this sketchbook. Next is the art prints, cards, and stickers. Art prints, four note cards, and two sticker sheets. An 
As expected, the illustrations are beautiful. I am now more in love with illustrations with vivid contrast. They seem more magical. Look at all these textures and colors. art tools. Adding more to my colored pencils, brushes, and pens collection. I am extremely grateful. These are Windsor and Newton watercolors. And then Pilot Color Inno Pencil 0.7 with red leads. A blue Sakura Pigma brush. Two Uni Posca pens, one blue and one white. Winson & Newton Cotman Watercolor Brush, round number six. And of course, the Prisma Color Premier Soft Core Colored Pencils, set of 36. Notice that the print on the barrels were not aligned. I did a quick research and found out that most Prisma colors are not of good quality but the core is still the same. I am happy with everything that's included in this art kit. I will be trying the art supplies and workbook in the next week, so stay tuned for that. If you already have the art supplies, you can opt to buy the mini art kit without the art tools. The mini art kit is $80 less than this full art kit. If I had the funds, I'd gladly purchase the other art kits to try out the different mediums and learn from the practice workbook and guidebook. I decided to get the Gallery Mungyo Artists Soft Oil Pastels. I got the set that includes these four more items. I've seen several people use this brand as the base color. And using the Sennelier oil pastels only for details and added texture. These are far more far more less expensive than the Sennelier's. If you're interested, you can watch my Sennelier unboxing video after this video. The main reason why I went to Kinukuni is to get the Pantone postcards, but I ended up getting these pens pencils. First are these white charcoal pencils, which I'm going to try and use for adding soft highlights over wash. I've been wanting to join the Pantone challenge on Instagram. Finally got my hands on these and I'm excited to paint on them. I'm not yet sure what theme I'm going to paint. But I'm gearing towards simple characters and backgrounds. Mostly, I've seen people paint landscapes. 
hopefully I'll be able to combine both landscape and a character. It would really be a challenge to think of a scene based on a Pantone color. I will not rush through this but I'll be painting sketching on these consistently. A friend will be joining me on this challenge so it'll be fun to have uh, drawing meetups. I'm really excited to start. Next are my favorite everyday pens, the Zebra Sarasa Vintage Colors. Next are these Blackwing pencils to add to my collection. I also use them regularly. Accidentally wiped out the name on the number 64 when I was removing the tag. A Miniso pen. Watercolor pens. I thought they were brush pens. Last is this set of Miniso oil pastels to add to my everyday oil pastels. Colorful set of stationery and art supplies, which one's your favorite?